200 games, 200 hits a double, and then two more. Uh, that's about the way to start a game like that, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, is this, is this supposed to fall off? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I was just glad to get out of the way. I, I told people I wasn't thinking about it, but I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't thinking about it a little bit. So just got out of the way, and then, uh, yeah, that was about it. How important was it to get right out of the gate, lead off, kind of get it rolling early on like that? Um, you know, in the leadoff spot, you're always trying to, you know, create momentum for the offense. Um, we got so many good guys behind us um, when you're, you know, just getting on base and uh, letting those guys work behind you. That's really the most important thing is just trying to kind of not let that starter get settled in too, too, uh, too good. So, Chris, yeah, it seems like you've been just kind of piecing it together where you get opportunities, but tonight to get the start in the first place, just, you know, how did it feel to, to know you were getting the start and then what's just kind of mindset going into it? Yes, sir. Yeah, I was definitely excited knowing I was getting it. Um, I've been putting work in and really just trying to help wherever I can help us win. So uh, I knew I was getting it and I just was trying to help us win, do everything I can. Right. Chris, how much has Kaysen helped you out, you know, just adapting to Auburn and center field and everything? Yes, sir, a lot. That's my guy, man. <laughs> he's, he's mentored me. He's helped me little things, big things, and he's made a difference. He's definitely helped improve my defensive game and just game as a whole. Uh, Kaysen, um just tell us your scouting report on Chris. What have you seen from him, freshman? Well, he can fly. Uh, that's pretty obvious. Um, you know, he's fast, but the, the cool thing about Chris is he's super coachable. Um, you know, he says I'm a mentor to him. Well, he's easy to mentor. Uh, he's always asking questions. He's trying to get better. Um, so it's just a joy to be around a guy like that who's trying to uh, do everything he can um, to gain inches on his game. And um, Chris is unbelievably talented. There's no question about that. I mean, y'all saw what he can do on a field, and uh, he's only going to get better from here. Um, so, I mean, I just he's a great teammate, um, really coachable, good guy, high character, and obviously his talent on the baseball field is, is his ceiling is super, super high. So it's been awesome to, be, to have him on the team. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey Chris, there's uh, kind of two parks that have a really unique left field, and that's Fenway Park and Plainton Park. How different is it playing in left versus your traditional center field where you have range both directions? Yeah, it's definitely different. Um, learning the wall, but we hammer it every day with Gabe and just try to work on, you know, see how much room we have until we get to the wall, learn how to play it. And it's definitely different coming from center, less room to move around, have to deal with foul territory, but. It's not bad. Chris, how much fun was that? It was great. I loved it. So much fun. You thought the ball was gone, did you? <laughs> 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 yes, sir. <laughs> Brian, you hey, Chris, you're originally from Tallahassee, is that right? Yes, sir. How, how do you feel being in Auburn? What's, the, what's this first you know, six months been like for you? I love it. The coaches, um, ever since my recruiting process, 10th grade, uh, that's when I committed and I knew this is where I wanted to be. It's special. All right, thank you guys.